Hello everybody, this is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video. I think it's been a couple of months. In the last video that I made, I mentioned that I was thinking about stepping away from YouTube because I just was not getting um, very many views or interest in my videos. And when I made that video, so many of you left comments saying, please don't leave YouTube. Even if you just make a couple of videos a month, I don't want you to quit. So after I read so many of the same comments, it really touched my heart. And I thought, you know, I do love being part of this community. And so I will do that. I will try my best to make at least one video a month. If there is more interest, then I will, you know, make more. And then life happened. <laughs> yeah. So you guys know that my shoulder was in a really bad way during that time. And I was on Jamie's um, digital, Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop digital design team. And when I was first on the team, I colored up a whole bunch of her images and were, was using those for cards. Well, it got to the point where I could not color. Um, just regular paper crafting was hurting my arm, especially coloring because of the angle my arm had to be in. I'm right-handed. The injury was to my right shoulder and arm, so I wasn't able to color. So I just kept using those pre-colored images that I had made for those cards. And then when those ran out, I stepped down from her design team a month earlier than the end of that design team. So, um, and you know, she was very understanding. So anyway, um, then life just took off. I had, had um, our oldest son came out for a really nice visit. Uh, he was here about 10 days. And then my husband changed jobs. I mean, he still works for the same company chain. So he was moved from one job site in Texas to a different job site in New York. And so all that entailed um, him coming out here, dropping things off, going back, um, bringing more things back, and then going on to New York and yeah, and then getting situated there, you know, he needed different things in, the, in New York than he did in Texas. And um, also during this time, one of his co-workers in Texas was moving into a new home. Well, actually had moved into a new home, a rental home, and he was not able to keep his dog. So my husband said, can we, rather than him turning the dog into, you know, a shelter, he said, do you think we could find a home for this dog or, you know, keep it ourselves. And um, I thought, well, well, we'll just, I told him, yeah, you know, we love dogs. So he brought the dog here on one of his trips because he had to make several trips back and forth during the transition of moving to New York. And um, so he brought the dog and it was a really sweet dog. It's a border collie but she was um, only 14 months old. She was housebroken, but she was really high strung. And our dog, our golden retriever, um, who's eight years old, a little over eight years old, um, it, it just put her on edge because this border collie, Zoe is her name, sweet as she may be, she kept nipping at Haley. Haley would get up and try to walk across the room and the border collie would go after her and nip at her and try to push her into another room or push her away. And, um, and Haley, you could tell it was just getting on her nerves. And by the end of each day, Haley had had enough. She never bit at her or snapped at her, but she would bark at her and put her in her place like enough, leave me alone. And, um, so this went on for a while and uh, we could just tell this dog was not going to be a good fit for our family. So I did find a new home. Somebody from Illinois drove all the way here and her and her little boy and they took the dog. And so now that dog lives on a farm and she wrote me um, a few days after they took Zoe with them and said, you know, it's just a match made in heaven. 
Zoe is so great with her little boy. And um, so that made me feel really good. But that, she was with us for about three weeks. So that, you know, when you got a new dog, your life seems wrapped around the animal for quite a long time. So you can get adjusted and get the dog adjusted and all of that. And then also our son was here during part of that time. So yeah, it was just real busy. My husband's job transition, that was real busy. And we still have more things coming down the pike. And during this time, my shoulder seemed to get worse. It got better for a little bit, and then it just started getting worse, and the pain was incredible. It was keeping me awake at night. And so, yeah, I just started trying to work on my craft room a little bit. I think that I started working towards the end of May, a little bit here and there, and then in June, as I was able. And all of a sudden, my arm just started feeling better and I really thank the Lord. I have full range of motion back in that arm. Every once in a while, I'll feel a twinge of pain, not constant like it was before. And one wonderful thing is, um, besides the full range of motion, I haven't been coloring for so long. I did try my hand at coloring the other night and I was able to color without any pain. And so I colored this little image. I shared it on Instagram in a story on Instagram. So that's a little CC design image that I colored. And I was just so happy that I could color again. And then last night I thought I will color some more. I got a fussy cut her out another little CC design image and an autumn image there. So that was fun. And I have gone organized crazy in my craft room. I've gone through all my supplies. My husband has taken several box loads of supplies to a thrift store here in our town and He's got more waiting for him. He's going to be coming home this weekend. He comes home every two weeks for about four days, about three and a half days, because the day he flies in is like a half day. Um, so I've got more things for him to take. I have a big box on my floor behind me right now filled with craft supplies that I'm going to be um, sending to a couple of friends. And then if there's anything left, I will either do a little giveaway or I will um, take it over to that shop, that thrift shop here. But I've organized my stamps, my scrapbook supplies. I've gotten rid of markers, not my Copics, but other type of markers. And um, yeah, I've organized all my drawers differently and just gone through everything and set up things differently. I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting on this desk is much better because I've switched things around. And so now I have a lamp over here up above. So everything's nice and bright here. I put this beautiful um, piece here. So you guys have something to look at while I'm chatting with you. But I won't keep you much longer. Um, just to say that I am going to stay with YouTube. I'm back coloring. And um, yeah, there's some changes that are coming down the pike for my husband and I. I can't tell you all of them or I can't share them just yet. I got to keep them under my hat. But as they come about, um, I will let you know. Um, I did want to show you real quick too. I joined the Spellbinder um, subscription club kit. So I'm getting the large club kit, the, of the um, large die of the month, small die of the month, the clear stamp and coordinating die of the month. So yay, that'll be fun. Um, I will plan on doing a craft room tour probably next month. So thank you all for watching. And thank you for your lovely messages on Instagram. You guys are amazing. God bless. Talk to you again soon, hopefully. Bye for now.